Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to race two of F1 Manager 23. But before we begin, I have been looking into something in this game that is a bit confusing. And I sort of did a bit of a math here. And my calculation is basically telling me I can't do emergency upgrades until and unless I absolutely need them. Because I will run out of money by July or August, I think in the game so i have to be very careful because i don't think i've taken the right kind of sponsor package i took like a balanced one which gave a bit of upfront payment a bit of engagement and a bit of race day now looking back at it that probably was not a good decision <laughs> i should have thought that through so i thought about it now if i'm gonna do this race right if i do this race i won't have any upgrades even though i, I will have an upgrade like tomorrow and the underflow one but if i get this upgrade i won't be able to design it by the race so i'll be dead lost anyway so what i'm gonna do right now is i am going to simulate this race thank god this exists and i'm gonna go on to the next race we're gonna do melbourne so jedi is gonna be skipped and we're gonna have two upgrades for australia which have been designed for melbourne so hopefully we'll do well so let's go but first we have to do training training shooter and i don't know why what is this like look at that that is that is straight up destruction for your team okay i'm gonna do it all by myself okay so here we go with the pit crew training this makes kind of more sense and i'm so glad we have this uh, this game gives you the most oddest one and you basically end up doing it in the right kind of way and i'm doing it in a balanced way i'm not trying to because of last season i learned how to do it and yeah, I, I got too overpowered and I was doing like 1.8 second pit stops, which nobody was able to do. Anyways, so the idea is to simulate this race, but right now we have to continue and get that upgrade in. Memorabilia level one. Okay, good. That's also good. We're going to manufacture that. ATR today. Wait, I can design another part. I can design another part. I should do that. What should I possibly get? What is like my weakest? But I should look with which is the next race. Suzuka in mm, high speed. So I'll have to design. No, no, I don't. I'm gonna look for after that. China. What is China? I need low speed. For low speed, what is best for low speed is front wing, isn't it? Yeah. So should I design a front wing then? That's fine, I guess. I'm not gonna rush this one because it's for China. That's quite a long way off. So I keep it like that. What I'm gonna do is try and reduce the engineers on this and keep putting them here. It doesn't make a small difference, but that's what we need, small differences. So now we designed the underflow. It's gonna be here in eight days. There's 18 days till Melbourne, so we'll have two, but we're gonna put three anyways because we need three. And I'm gonna save another one for rare wings. So, all right, let's go. Helipad level 2. I want to upgrade these facilities as well because they give marketability. I should be doing that actually. So team up says constructing. It doesn't show not build, but it's not giving me like a timeline when it's going to be constructed. Is it? Is it giving me a timeline? Team hub. Team hub. Oh yeah. But it's not actually showing how long it's going to take here in the facilities. Yeah, it's not. So it just constructs and you're basically on your own. Okay. Okay. Memorabilia. What does it give? Marketable. I have, I have like very limited cash, like 4.2 mil. I don't know if you can see that that's in a corner, but I really want to get these things up. So, you know, it's cheaper. Let's go for this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to screw myself here and go. I feel like getting them up is important right now. I ideally want car pet, car part test center at three. I want this at level three. I want this at level two, level two, level three, level two. Like this was like really good if you could get them to these points in the last game i don't know about this here but let's see yeah we're at the race now what is the race target 21st 21st there's no reason to buy and do this i'm just gonna simulate through this whole weekend hopefully they don't get damages because that's gonna be costly i just realized something i don't have the game audio <laughs> thank god i realized it at the right time all right so I actually want to simulate to the race directly. 
Should I do that? I mean, ideally, I'm gonna skip this weekend. Yeah, let's do that. Please don't do damages. Please, please, please. 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 The drivers against. Yeah, shut up. Okay, we're gonna have a bit look at the results. Practice one. Where were we? P16, P22, practice two. Liam was P19 and Oliver was P22 again. Practice three. Dead last. How about qualifying? How did you. Ooh! Ooh! He almost got out of Q1. Liam almost got out of Q1. That is quite impressive. You know, that, that board swell. That board swell. I have no idea how with that board swell, but we're not going to do this race as well. We're going to simulate it and move on because our main target is the next race. Finish a race with I got an achievement. Finish a race with a mechanical failure. That means something is damaged. Uh, oh, man. Today, Sergio yeah, I don't care, man. I, I really don't care. So Sergio wins the race, Max wins the race, Charles is third, Carlos is fourth, Oscar finished fifth, Lando behind him, then Alonso, then the Mercedes of George, Lance Stroll, Aston Martin, Lewis Hamilton, 10th. Then we have Albin, 11th, Yuki, 12th, Kevin, 13th, Nico, 14th. Man, where did we finish? We're dead lost. Something must have happened in the race. The fact it told me finish a race with a mechanical failure when I simulated, I got that achievement. It tells me something went wrong with the race. Very, very wrong. They also got worst pit stops. Well, at least we got a bit out of it. The saving grace, I didn't see the race. The worst part, there's probably a damaged. Oh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So what exactly is damaged? The gearbox, minor damage. So like what? It's gonna be like this forever. Wait, if it's damaged at 82%, does this mean like it's done? Wait, wait, I don't get it. This part has damage which is likely to become critical if you use it. And are you sure you want to install it? Yes. I mean, I'm gonna use it in, uh, I am gonna use it in the next few races. So let's see. It does not make it. How much money I have? 3.4. I should be holding on to that now. Even though I want this upgrade because team attractiveness is in. I shouldn't have done that, but I did it. So let's move. <laughs> now I should likely get rear wing, right? And now I can design another part. We have to see what else we need for China. We need top speed, so we're gonna design the chassis. I might have to actually increase the drag reduction to maximum to get something out of it, but at the same time, I don't want to. Then I'm gonna leave it like that balanced we're gonna be like balanced we don't really need to push it over the line this is enough 28 days and it's in 40 days so no worries okay tour center to level two lawson goes a level up that is good i like the fact that it feels like everybody's upgrading themselves quicker unlike last time now we designed the rear wing there's 11 days to the race and we will have three by then so that is good i guess we're gonna get four hey yeah, let's go for six no 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 actually we should get four four because i something might fail after the race there might be something and now the next race is australia and i think i'm gonna hold on to the money because i have nothing <laughs> i have nothing i'm like i'm gonna hold on to the money but there's nothing there I didn't even have a look at it. Memorabilia. Fine. That's affecting Menta. I think I've got the basic upgrades, so I'm gonna wait for a small amount of time. Wait, what are the staff saying? They're, ha they're happy. They're happy, they're happy. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. What about the drivers? They're also happy, positive, unhappy with other staff, which is the other staff they're unhappy with car performance other stuff who is the other stuff can can you please like be open about it is it like their engineers they're unhappy with they are unhappy with the drives it might be them no worries you guys just have to get along over the course of the season and hopefully it will go well let's leave that there as well okay front wing so it's gonna come quicker if i approve this but what is it gonna cost me some good news for you, we actually overestimated how long it would take to uh, 
Okay, we'll be able to finish it earlier than expected. Show. Sure. So it's gonna come before the Japanese race. Great. I have another upgrade for another race then. All right. I have affiliate drivers. Wait a moment. Who are these people? Boss to terminate the con. Oh my god. Who are these people? Where do they come from? Honestly, want to straight up terminate the contract and let them go. There we go at the race weekend. Now, the first thing we have upgrades. We have two upgrades. So, first thing I'm gonna do is a comparison. This is important. Go to the warehouse and see which the two upgrades are. I'm gonna install one on car one. And man, this game is so slow with the responses and install upgrade number two okay and now i'm gonna do a car analysis from car one to car two to see what sort of jump we made we made quite a leap quite a leap it in the grand scheme it's not a massive leap but it is a good one it's a step in that direction now this is where we do the comparison to our closest rival and we should be closer to them this race in fact we should be beating them we are far better than them in high speed in the medium speed, we're better than them. In the low speed, we're slightly better than them. In DRS, they're far better. Their acceleration is better. Their top speed is clearly better. But we ain't bad. We're good. Oh, I, I should be installing it on the other part as well. Come to the floor over that. Two. And the floor. Car two as well. So now we have them on both cars. Okay, hopefully these guys don't become idiots and damage this. So race target, Holy Bearman. I want him to finish 21st or higher. Liam, I want him to finish 20th or higher. When you have fast car, you want them to finish higher. Oh my God. The game crashed. I have really no idea what's happening with this game. Like it has such huge performance issues. It just crashes randomly for no reason whatsoever. There is no load on the graphics card or anything. Nothing. It just crashes. I hope it's not corrupted. If it's gonna crash mid-race, I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably not do this race. <laughs> this is such an odd performance from this. Like, I don't understand what's going on. Why is it behaving so slow? Yeah, I'm gonna save it just in case. We set the race targets again. If it crashes again, I'll be pissed off. Moment of truth. Stop. Okay, didn't crash. It's wonderful to be back down under. Yeah, it's wonderful to survive a crash. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so Liam's... I'm sorry, Oliver's... Polly's gearbox. Like, it has a minor damage and it's unfixable. So this is done. Even though it's minor, but it's unfixable. Ah... <sighs> Like, what's the point? If it's a minor damage and it's unfixable, like, what am I supposed to do with such a gearbox? Like, I'm just gonna carry it on for all my practices then. Okay, all three practices done. Practice is like the hardest thing in this game because it takes the most time. It's a headache in itself. Okay, I didn't get, like, the most out of them. I just got the least out of them for a second. I now thought it crashed again. Shut up. Q1, I'm gonna save it again. Like, the... The crash thing has scared the hell out of me. So we changed his gearbox because that one is unfixable. It's minor damage, but it's unfixable. So we can only use that in practices. I just want to have a look at the parts. We have a new rear wing or W2. Why does it, why does the chassis is called CBR24? What is CBR short form of, what is CBR? I don't know, let me know. Uh, underfloor is also new new underfloor new rear wing okay exactly as i wanted let's get into qualifying so i'm only doing one run here and i'm going out to the end if i fail i fail first lap what is lawson saying he's in clean air no 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 he has an aston martin in front of him bearman is basically stuck behind uh, that guy hopefully he doesn't catch up to him okay what is Lawson's time? Please. Oh! oh! What?
What just happened? I can't believe what I'm looking at. <laughs> Where did that come from? Where did that come from? <laughs> Where did that come from? That has to be like the slipstream or something. Like I have to look at it, the data. I have to understand what happened here. Okay, Lawson says 25, 9, 25, 8, 19, 1, 89, 32, 4, 32, 1. Yeah, he, he has to got that slipstream from that RB. Okay, that was worth skipping. Worth skipping. First Q2. First Q2. I'm going to get two new sets, I think, yeah. Probably, I could be wrong. Let's see. First, we're gonna set a banker lap. Okay. What does the bank lap time look like? Obviously, it's not gonna be like the fastest one, but still. We got a lap time on a used tire. So, 117.7. That's actually very slow. I think it's slower than his previous session. Okay, he starts the lap in the worst place possible. Please tell me he doesn't die bomb. It's his last lap, please. Oh, thank God, yeah, his, that, was, that was the end of his lap. So that is good. I'm assuming that Beerman's time came due to the variety of factors. Even like the new gearbox one contributed. Everything basically contributed. He was in the right place. So far, he has improved in every sector. Again, compared to his previous banker lap, he has improved everywhere. What is the new lap time going to be? Ooh, it is an improvement, like 5 tenths improvement, I think. I don't think I should have used fresh softs, but still, that is weird. 69 to 17, 3. You understand, I think that slipstream was actually worth it. Not a bad place to start. So it's gonna rain in the race. Okay, when is it gonna rain? It's gonna be a medium to enters. That's what it looks like. Like, there, there's genuinely nothing else. Medium to enters. It's just that simple. Or they both both look like the same strategies, except on the hard side can push flat out. I think I'm gonna keep him on the mediums. I'm gonna put play him on the hards. I mean, why not? Okay, that feels right. Confidence is medium. Not. I really want like confidence like previous year. I don't understand what's going on this year with confidence, but we move on. Man, the way it just the lags, is really building here. it feels like it's about to crash. Get ready for the Australian Grand Prix. And every 10 times it crashes once then. And it's lights out and away we go. Okay, that was odd. So Lawson went back and Bearman went forward. Now we manage the pace a bit. We're really tight in terms of temperatures and stuff. Wait, does Lawson not have the DRS? He does. Now he doesn't. And now he does. Genuinely, I'm quite happy seeing this right now for the first few laps. Imagine at the end they're both dead lost and I'm just watching. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop him from defending now. Because that's basically them losing time. By rarely defending, they're gonna stick to the racing line and that's essentially what we want. We want them to stick to the racing line. Oh no. Yeah man, you are going. I mean, we're not fighting them. We're technically fighting Bottas and Joe. And we're also beating the Alpine, so that's not bad, but they're still behind us, so... What is everyone's tire situation saying? Right now, we're the only one in the last 10 on hards, and Russell and me are on hards. Russell's hards are in a better shape. Her hards are not bad, but they could have been worse. I think I should micromanage my battery right now. And we're going back, but no worries. Oh, Alban being generous. <laughs> now here we are at the final Ooh. corner. The wheels just lock up there. Just unable to control the car by that point. 
We need to micromanage this battery, get the most out of the yellow flag. Sector one. Nothing, that's not important. He's not even part of our race anymore. So I'm gonna make him harvest behind him. So Bot S is right behind us. Or right behind Behrman, but we're doing well, I think. Micromanaging battery in this game is absolutely worth it. We're gonna stay behind him, manage the battery, and then we're gonna use him as a slingshot and go forward again. Or not. <laughs> Bearman has closed up. We're gonna use a bit of battery on Lawson to break away from these. Can we? Man, this guy is like a clue. I don't think, no, we can't break away here. And Bearman is just saving batteries behind them. He's just saving batteries, so that's good. I'm just micromanaging the battery right now because I want it filled again. Then we can use that when it comes time to rain. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, All to play for. It's not given. Oh, we've seen a few go off the track there. Biting with the car, just a little perhaps. Just the luck. So Bearman is doomed. He literally gave away every position he had, except to Ocon, but Lawson is doing extremely well, so we're gonna manage him until Bearman catches back up to Albon, I guess. And maybe make him look after his tires because genuinely he also hurt his tires with that. Sergeant takes Lawson and he shoots past him. And here comes Gasly about to shoot. Ah, I thought he was about to. About to. We're gonna stay past Gasly and see if he can close up to... Okay. Yellow flags. Bearman overtakes now. Alban locks up. Got it. Alban locks up. Bearman doesn't overtake. What just happened? You had such a great momentum and just all disappeared the moment he overtakes ghastly i'm gonna slingshot okay go yep that is exactly what we need slingshot and disappear is this drs open yes it is What just happened? He caught up to Sergeant like he got within his second and all of a sudden a second appeared out of nowhere. We've got some rain around. That was a dive bomb and a half. <laughs> that was a dive bomb. Just gonna say... How did we go from P15 to <laughs> Okay, rain. Rain is here. 73. I'm gonna box both of them right now. Wait, there's one simple thing that I need to see. One simple thing I need to see. I think we can push these tires a bit in the first stint. And there's no need to afterwards. So, you're gonna box right now. Both of them. Wait, I didn't pit him? He also has pit this lap. This has to be quick. Okay, 2.9. What about his? Go. He got held up by somebody. I don't know who it was. They're all clear on the exit. Okay. 
Okay, so it's currently P18 in front zoo. Now, let us see what happens here. Energy's good. Let's keep that gap down. Let's go recharge off. Eight currently. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do now. I mean, we're not that far off, and if anybody makes a mistake, we will be on them. I think this race is gonna be simple now. Bearman can't go any forward, but he's not going backwards, that's also for sure. But he might be lapped, that is the bigger problem here. Yep, there he is, lapped. His race is done. Ah, uh, dear lord. Right, lap 31, no change. Lawson is about to be lapped by science. So, there's that. But Bearman is the only one I'm concerned about. He needs to finish one position up. Just one. How do we get him one position up? His lap times are not good. I know Ocon is like 33.5 and Bearman is 31.4, but that's because he was lapped. That's why his lap time is actually slower. Otherwise, his lap time is quite fast. All right, let's see what this lap is going to be like. Um, 32.0. Bearman. 31-4. He just moved. Who knows? I didn't want to the tire. Okay, head down. We keep focusing. Yeah, well. Now, now we're watching the action closely here. Things look fine here. Even with... And the car just locks. And hopefully there's not too much damage to the tires. Yeah, there is. There already is. <sighs> Lawson just had to finish P90. He's P19 and he's about to be overtaken. By the way, it's his own fault. Look at me. Such a nice team principal. I'm looking for faults. <laughs> oh. And oh, safety oh, car. oh, 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 That is straight to pit. Look after Behrman. the temperatures. Behrman, you got a pit. You got a pit, you got a pit. You're exactly in the right spot at the right time. Go pit. Off on also pit. Okay, we're coming now to the pit. What happened to Stroll? Oh. He's driving. Everything is fine. Oh. Stop. I mean, it's Lance Stroll. It's kind of expected. Should I pit him as well? You know what? Might as well. We're not exactly like in the front, so... Is there any chance that lap cars may overtake? Is there any chance of lap cars overtaking? Please. Yes. Uh, safety car in this lap, safety car in this lap. I'm sorry, what? So let's see what we can do at the restart. So technically we have achieved our sponsor objectives, but... Man, Albin was breathing Lawson's neck down, like, straight up. Wow. It is a faster car, it's amazing we're even trying to compete with them. Alright, nothing really happened except... Albano taking us last lap. Could Bearman dream about overtaking Ocon? Nope. It was close, but. <sighs> Unconfirmed. Rain stop. Okay. Max Verstappen I can't believe over it. the finish line and today's winner. That the Sauber's finished ahead of us. I can't believe it. Even though we had a pace over them. Okay, we take the flag. Oh. And that's the checkered flag. My eyes. They need to customize calendar so we don't have to spend this much time on a calendar. Oh my god, so many races, man. Lando Norris currently on our screens, heads back to his team. Yeah, not a bad race, I would say. Not the worst race. I mean, we did achieve our sponsor objectives thanks to Lance Stroll crashing, and Liam also managed to keep Esteban behind. We're slightly faster than them. We're definitely faster than the Sabers. Definitely, we're faster than them. But it's almost like they unlocked a gear in the second half of the race and caught up and disappeared. Okay, still dead last. Drivers, are we making any jumps? No, still there. But we're getting the upgrades. We're making a bit of a difference, nothing in terms of pit stops, even though we did not make any mistakes if they're still the slower of the pit stops, but they're still... Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. 
We got the race targets, we got the contract bonuses exactly as we want, half a million. Hmm. Oh. This game gives you like a reality check. <laughs> really, <laughs> really, really quick reality check. Okay, Polly is also learning, he's growing. So, everything looks fine. Not a bad race in general. Wait, what is the board saying? Is the board happy? Oh. I mean, what do you mean you're disappointed? Are you dumb? This is a dead loss team and you're disappointed. Oh my god. I think I might be fired. This is a very high chance I might be fired. Okay, so we have the design of the front wing for the next race. That is a good thing. And next episode we start from there because we do need a new front wing on both fronts. So we're going to design a new one. That's going to be a plus point too. So, next one, Japan, we're gonna have another upgrade for there, we got to see off the deadline coming forward for that front wing and we're gonna get that and till then take care of yourself and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.